also, right off the bat, just addressing the elephant in the room, I know I look goofy. This is not a fashion statement. My eyes have been super, super, super sensitive to light since I got up this morning. And no, I'm not stoned. Just... So there's no confusion. No, they are just very light sensitive. And actually, this color is not helping that much. I had darker ones on earlier, but for the sake of filming, I figured it's a little less creepy if you can see my eyeballs while I film. So I put on a lighter shade that are more helpful than not wearing any. But yeah, I'm definitely switching back to my darker ones as soon as I'm done filming. But yeah, not quite sure what's going on there. I I'm assuming it has something to do with allergies because they were super freaking bad this morning. And all up in here is headachey today. Not bad enough to take anything. Just enough to annoy the crap out of me. But yeah, between that and looking in the mirror, oh, my, my pupils look like freaking pinpoints. I bet that has something to do with something, so that's fun. But yeah, that's that's why the shades, even though we're indoors and they, they don't even match anything, that's why. So I figured I owed you guys an explanation. So, anywho, now that we've gotten that out of the way, I've got another friend mail from Tony. So, I'm not showing addresses, so don't worry, I'm showing from the other side. Unlike the other one. I have not so much as opened this yet, so I don't even know what's in it. I think I know a grand total of one thing that's in here. Anything else is a surprise. So I'm going to be super duper careful in going about opening this. Get my handy dandy scissors ready. Come on. Since I don't know what's in here, I'm trying to make sure I don't accidentally hit anything. And, you know, not accidentally stab myself in the process. Okay, hold up. Um, okay. There. Okay. Ooh! I see M&M's right off the bat. Uh, ooh! Crunchy espresso M&M's. Oh, these are gonna be amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Because in the last um, front mail that I got from her, she sent two packs of M&M's. One were white flavor, or white flavor, white chocolate flavored, and the other one was, oh, what was it? It was something coffee related, but it wasn't the same as this. So, yeah, I still need to review those. So they have not been opened just yet, but they shall be. Um, there's more. There's more. Oh my gosh, these are a thing? We've got crunchy raspberry M&M's. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, can we just appreciate the little Danny DeVito M&M with, with the raspberry hat? I love it. I love it. Yes, the red M&M shall always be the Danny DeVito M&M to me now, ever since that one Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> He's running around the streets of New York. You want to eat me? You want to eat me? And it's just creepy as hell. But that's what makes it so freaking funny, because only Danny DeVito could pull that off. And I'm in the weird minority who likes Danny DeVito. Not like, likes him that way. No, that, that'd be gross. But just as an actor, I enjoy him. So <laughs> Maybe it's a fellow short person thing. Maybe it's a fellow Italian thing. I don't know. But I think he's funny anyway. Ooh, minty crunchy M&M's. I think I've had regular minty M&M's, but not the crunchy ones, so those are gonna be good. Thank you. Ooh, and there's a voting thing? Aha! Share your reaction with hashtag VoteCrunchyMint or text your vote to this number. Oh, okay, so these are all like test flavors right now. Okay, cool. That's gonna be fun. Which then brings us to, oh wait, there's, I think, a card down here. It slid down. Hi, Jen. I forgot to grab a little note card to include, so I'm using this sticker. Hope you like the new Carmex flavor. Let me know you received it okay. Happy summer from Tony. And again, look how pretty her handwriting is. I love it. Okay. So, here's the one thing that I knew what it was going into it. Ooh, okay, so we've got the Triple Berry Breeze New Carmex, which is the one that just came out, but it's packaged with the Tropical ones, which is great, because my Tropical Kalana one and Orange Dream both kind of had a um, little accident last summer. I forgot I had not one, but both of them in a jeans pocket, and they went through the wash. 
RIP to them. But now I have them again. <laughs> so hey, and now I'll be able to find out if that Honeydew Melon one that I reviewed before, if I had like a bad one or something, or if just for some reason I thought that it was a nasty flavor that Carmex did. Because so many other people were like, how do you not like that one? You love all melon things. I was like, I know. I know. That's why I feel like maybe I got a fluke bad one or something. So we shall see with this one. But the Triple Berry Breeze is the one that I was on the hunt for and could not find, but Tony was able to find and sent my way, and I am so very grateful because I could not find the darn thing, and it's just a bonus perk that it came with these others, and ooh, I just noticed the stars down the side. Yay, stars! Okay, I'm, I'm a dork, I know. So, that is all that was in this run mail, but again, thank you very much for all the stuff. These M&Ms I'm going to love, especially those minty ones. I mean, honestly, all three of them sound amazing, and now I'm like, ooh, picking between those, which one's the best? That's gonna be like picking a favorite child. How do you choose? <laughs> but um, I'll have to look on the website and see if there's something like so and so many votes per day or something, because sometimes they let you have more than one vote per day on these things, so if that is the case... I might be able to diversify my votes a bit amongst the ones that I'm torn between, which may be all of them, but again, we shall see. So anyways, there shall be at least one re uh, review upcoming. I don't know that I ever got the Tropical Colada one reviewed before, so I also need to do a review on that guy. I think I reviewed the other two before, though. I'll double check the channel, because... I haven't run this thing so long, I don't remember off the top of my head which things have been reviewed and which things I've just had at some point and used but didn't actually review, you know? So, I shall double check that there is at least- whoops, knock down my chapstick. But um, there shall be at least two reviews upcoming from this pack, so. And possibly more. If it turns out that the Honeydew one I had before was a fluke bad one, I will re-review this sucker if this one is indeed good by comparison to how that one was. Because, like I said, that one, something just struck me as off with that one, so I may have just had a bad one before. I wouldn't discredit the possibility, so. Anyways, sorry for no videos yesterday. No real good excuse. <laughs> so, I shall try to catch up today as best I can. So, anywho, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Leave comments down below. Do you guys have this one? Do you have any of these? Do you have all of these? Let me know down below. Same goes for the evidence if you've tried them. Which ones were your fave if you've tried all of these? I am curious, so let me know. As well as anything else you feel like leaving me, um, make sure you follow my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.